Hi everybody. So this late May, I signed up to run a 10K in August of this year. And this would be the first race that I'd be running since 2018. Let me tell you. <laughs> My training started out pretty strong soon after I signed up. And I had this whole grand plan of how I was going to train in the month of June. It was going well. I was doing pretty good. I started training at three miles. I don't even know why I started with three miles. But I would go out there and I would run three miles each time. And then I would also cross train by doing a little bit of hiking. And I'm always just doing Alaska chores, which can require a little bit of energy and exertion. So I figured that that was supplementing some of my, you know, desirable workouts. Anyways, month of June has been a godsend here in Alaska because it's been so hot, so summery, and so I've been outside. I mean, I'm at the lake, you know, I'm in my garden, I'm entertaining my little guy. And so it's been hot. It's been unbearable at, at times. And I cannot run in the heat. And since the days are long, I'm talking like midnight sun. On really hot days, that sun is shining until it's not shining anymore. So it's been really tough to get the motivation to go and run after spending so much time outside and exerting myself in the sun. And so I've been doing a lot of home workouts, a lot of 20 minute power workouts in my living room. And I really enjoy those because they are low maintenance and I don't have to go anywhere. But I still need to make up for that running. I have to put in the miles in order to succeed, to actually get the most out of my training. I have to run. And so I'd like to say that in the month of June, it's been kind of like a, a, like a break in. I'm breaking back into running, especially training for a race. And so I have learned a few things this month. Um, my body obviously has changed. It's not the same. Um, I'm not Lightning McQueen anymore. And it's going to take a lot out of me to work up the endurance that I used to have. And um, it's great that I can just go out there and run three miles. I think it's pretty, it's, it's noteworthy. But I have to adjust in my mindset and also the way that I train. But I also have to take a lot of responsibility for my own self-care. Um, I think half of that struggle is just being full-time mommy, you know, running after an energizer bunny all day. And then the heat and then just like the exhaustion and then add on just like not sleeping very well. So I think they are, there are some adjustments that I'm going to be making into the month of July because it will be the last full month of my training before my race in like early August. Um, what I know I need to focus on is rest. And I think the most rest that I get is when it comes to bedtime. And I have no excuse at this point. I'm My son's sleeping better. Partner is really helpful with bedtime. I just need to get myself into bed at a reasonable time so that I can get the rest that I need to function uh, throughout the day. So that when it comes to training, I still have something to give myself. So I have to start sleeping better. That's one of them. The second thing I need to do is I need something a little more concrete. Like a, I really need to give myself a running schedule. And so currently.
recently, I just joined a 30 day challenge, home workouts. Today's workout was seven minutes, but it was really effective. Um, and so I feel like if I can put that in there and add on to the running, I feel like I'm going to keep up the momentum of working out and feeling good after I work out instead of running today and waiting two days before I run again or three days before I run again. So I started the 30 day challenge today. And also I need to run a minimum of three times a week. And those all need to be different distances. So like two miles, three miles, four miles, and then I can build on to um, four miles, five miles, six miles later on in the month. But I have to have that kind of guideline so that I can stick to it. Because if I just decide to wing it, it's just going to be like me just keeping up with health as usual instead of training for something like a race. So that's two. I have to give myself some sort of guideline and a schedule. Uh, the third thing that I think I need to do is understand that my body, my body is different. It does not work the same. I am still recovering postpartum and I just need different things. I I get overheated very easily now. <laughs> I overheat. Um, if I don't have enough fuel in my body, my body will shut down. It will tell me to stop and shut down. And so just listening to my body and making sure that I give myself enough nutrients to sustain these runs is really important. Um, the other thing is my recovery takes longer now. You know, I have some hip issues and I am on a like five minutes daily stretching routine that I try to keep up with, which has also tanked, of course, it's tanked in the last couple of weeks. So I just really need to get my health habits in order. Those self-care habits are really important because they are the reason I am able to wake up in the morning, take care of my kid, take care of myself and train and still feel like I am not digging myself into a hole. So this is my June reflection on my workouts. And I don't know if you're working out out there, if you're training for something or if you have a goal. Um, I'd love to hear it and see your hacks, hear about your hacks. What is it that you are doing to help yourself? I think it's really important to share some of these tips and tricks because sometimes we may not, we may overlook very obvious things like going to sleep early. <laughs> I need to sleep. I need to go to sleep right now. My bedtime is in eight minutes, but I need to shower. So I'm going to have to go do that and then go to sleep. And staring at a screen is probably not a good idea. So I'm going to sign off. But I want to talk more into detail about my July goals. Today's July 1st. And I think I'm going to save that for another video. Maybe it'll be a short. Maybe it'll be quick. Just talking about plans. But for now, I'm still in the game. I'm still training. I have not given up. And you should not give up either. <laughs>